Observed impacts of global climate change in the US is the 12th in a series of Pew Center reports examining the impacts of climate change on the US environment. While past Pew Center reports have reviewed the potential impacts of future climate change, this report provides compelling evidence that ecosystems are already responding to climate change and provides insights into what we can expect from future changes in the Earth's climate. Looking specifically at the United States, report authors, Drs. Camille Parmesan and Hector Galbraith find, a number of ecological changes have already occurred in the United States over the past century in concert with increases in average U.S. temperature and changes in precipitation. On the 6th of September 2022, the Department of Forestry and Fire Protection of California provided information about a wildfire occurring in Fairview, California. According to the report, there were two deaths and more than and 2,400 acres have burned. The fire is 5% contained. The school district is closed and an evacuation center has been set up in Hemet, so more than 1,500 residents who left the area can be received. On the 6th of September 2022, the United States Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, provided information about flooding in Chattooga County and Floyd Counties, Georgia. According to the report, the heavy rain and thunderstorms on the 4th of September caused flooding in northwest Georgia. Over 10 inches of rain fell in 12 hours. The Chattooga River at Somerville crested at 16.78 feet and is currently below flood stage at 8.2 feet. Changes in natural systems will continue and become even more apparent in the future, resulting in the degradation and loss of U.S. biodiversity. With continued and more severe changes in the climate, the ability of U.S. wildlife to adapt through migration and physiological change will be increasingly limited. Furthermore, because of adaptive migration, Species such as the red fox are now competing for habitat previously dominated by the arctic fox, threatening the arctic fox's long-term survival. The challenge is even greater when considered along with the broad range of other environmental threats currently affecting wildlife, such as habitat loss, environmental contamination, and invasive species. Extreme weather there have been changes in some types of extreme weather events over the last several decades. Heat waves have become more frequent and intense, especially in the West. Cold waves have become less frequent and intense across the nation. There have been regional trends in floods and droughts. Droughts in the Southwest and heat waves everywhere are projected to become more intense and cold waves less intense everywhere. Severe storms Winter storms have increased in frequency and intensity since the 1950s, and their tracks have shifted northward over the United States. Other trends in severe storms, including the intensity and frequency of tornadoes, hail, and damaging thunderstorm winds, are uncertain and are being studied intensively. Temperature U.S. average temperature has increased by 1.3 degrees Fahrenheit to 1.9 degrees Fahrenheit since record keeping began in 1895. Most of this increase has occurred since about 1970. The most recent decade was the nation's warmest on record. Temperatures in the United States are expected to continue to rise. Because human induced warming is superimposed on a naturally varying climate, the temperature rise has not been and will not be uniform or smooth across the country or over time. Heavy downpours. Heavy downpours are increasing nationally, especially over the last three to five decades. Largest increases are in the Midwest and Northeast. Increases in the frequency and intensity of extreme precipitation events are projected for all U.S. regions. Future impacts. The recent PCC assessment report found that the extent and magnitude of climate change impacts are larger than estimated in previous assessments. These impacts are felt in many ways. It reduces our ability to grow nutritious food or provide sufficient clean drinking water, which in turn affects people's health and well-being. 
Increasing heat and extreme weather are causing plants and animals, both on land and in the ocean, to migrate towards cooler areas in our global north and south, to higher altitudes, or deeper areas in our oceans. This migration of plants and animals also impacts the timing of key biological events, such as breeding and flowering, which in turn impacts food chains and the entire ecosystem. Longer wildfire seasons increase the surface area that burns during the hot months, which in turn further intensifies the stresses on wildlife, human health, and also agriculture. It becomes apparent that the impacts of climate change are multifaceted and will impact our food and water supply and our infrastructures and energy production. While many individuals, communities, and businesses have begun adapting to climate change, the working group identified large gaps between ongoing efforts and the required adaptation efforts. With every increment of warming, the effectiveness of our efforts to offset climate change decreases and therefore a more urgent and ambitious action is required to quickly and effectively cut our emissions of greenhouse gases. The faster and more drastically we manage to reduce these emissions, the more capacity there is for people and nature to adapt. Here are 10 things we can do on an individual basis to fight climate change. 1. Boycott greedy corporations, who put their own profits ahead of our global objectives. This includes corporations who are resistant to adapt to a reuse economy and rely on single-use, fossil fuels, etc. Boycott does not simply mean not buying products from these corporations. It also implies not buying their stocks and not working for these companies until they truly embrace their social responsibility, as opposed to greenwashing where they extensively highlight one thing that they do well and drown out any evidence of the things they do poorly. Two. Cut down on convenience, since convenience has a large environmental cost. 3. Have fewer children to curb overpopulation and secure food and water reserves for future generations. 4. Reduce consumption. This includes our consumption of food, water, energy, and other stuff. We have created valuable guides and are making them available for free to help our society grow. Pick a few points at a time and commit to them until they become a habit, usually around three months. 5. Have difficult conversations. There will always be some resistance to change, but we all need to educate ourselves and one another. Be brave. 6. Think collaboration, not competition. We're all in this together, and even though it may be easy to fall into a competitive, me-first, mindset, when facing a potential extinction-level event, while there's still time to change and adapt, we need to embrace collaboration instead. It may feel counterintuitive, since we've been coerced to outcompete our peers since our early school days, but the reality is that a collaborative mindset will get us further and much faster than a competitive mindset. Please let us know what you think of this video in the comment section, we will be waiting to hear back from you. Make sure you click the subscribe and link button. While you are at it, don't forget to press the notification bell so YouTube can notify you whenever we drop a new video.